Hey guys, welcome to the XFIT Daily Workout. I'm Jason Charchan, and we're gonna, so go ahead and get off your seats right now. We're gonna start with a warm up. It's gonna be high knees. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Today's workout is titled X Zone. The exercises we're gonna do are gonna be the X jump. the arm and leg reach, the knee tuck, the dive bomber push up, and last but not least, a straight legged crunch. All right, we're gonna do this for a few more seconds. Each exercise that we do today is gonna to be for 30 seconds, nonstop, back to back, and we're gonna go three rounds through. All right, joining me today to my right and to your left is Rachel, and then to my other side right here is gonna be Aaron. We're gonna start out with the X jump, and for the X jump, we're gonna reach down to the ground right here into a squat position, we're gonna jump up and make an X right here. Jump up and make an X. And a modified version you can do, as you see Aaron doing to my left, is you can just make it a squat. That version is not gonna be quite as intense as the jump, and it might be the best way to start out for this exercise. This is intense, it's already burning my quads, and I'm in pretty good shape. Okay, we're down to 10 seconds, perfect. Excellent, five more. Three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna come down to the ground for the straight arm. Reach, and you're gonna reach your leg right back. And right here, this is gonna be for 15 seconds on each side. We wanna make it nice and balanced right here. The key is you wanna keep your body in a straight line. Keep your core tight. All right, we're down to five seconds already. Three, two, and switch. And bring it in. Reach forward, 15 seconds on this side. Keep your hips nice and square. Reach up as high as you can with your hand and your leg right there. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. Coming up next, we're gonna focus on those lower abs. It's gonna be a knee tuck with the leg lower, your hands are by your side, tuck your knees up, straighten your legs out, slowly lower it down. So it's in, up, and down. And keep those heels right above the ground at the end position, that's gonna keep, those tension, keep the tension on your lower abs and really make them burn, really tighten them up and really tone them. Okay, just five more seconds. Knee tuck, straighten it out. Keep it close to the ground. And good. From here, we're gonna to transition to what I call dive bomber push-ups. Now, I'm gonna do them from my toes, but as you can see, the ladies to the right and the left of me, they're gonna do them from their knees. And I'd recommend that you do that to start out. All right, so I'm gonna scoop it down here, and then scoop it back up. Scoop it down, and then back down. Three, two, one, and excellent. We're transitioning over to the straight legged crunch. So we're gonna lie flat on our back right here. Lock your knees and crunch up and try to touch your toes. If you can grab onto the bottom of your toes, that'd be perfect. But if you can't, do the best you can to reach as far along your legs as you can right here. And this is great. It gives you an added challenge whenever you have a specific goal to meet rather than just crunching up an inch or two. And most people don't tend to work out most people don't tend to push themselves as much as they could if they just do simple crunches. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, and rest, perfect. We're starting back over for round two. Rachel, how you feeling over here? Excellent, Aaron, how you doing? Great, so we're going back those X jumps right here, here, and then jump it up at your own pace. Now I'm gonna spend the next two rounds monitoring your form a little bit more than I did the first two times just so I can show all the viewers at home if there's any modifications or tweaks we can make to your form, which are gonna help them when they're doing the exercise at home. Perfect, so get as low as you can. Try to put the weight on the balls of your feet back here. Jump up and reach as high as you can. Five seconds. Excellent, good. Shift your weight to your heels. Good, and we're gonna transition over to the single leg, single arm, single leg reach. So right arm is forward. Come in and touch, right there, 15 on each side. Excellent, keep those hips nice and square, Aaron. Great, perfect. The higher you pick that foot up, the more of a glute and butt workout you're gonna get out of it. Three seconds, switch to the other side. Oh, he's 
can see Rachel's kicking that foot nice and high every time. Perfect, just keeping her hips nice and square. A lot of people will have a tendency to want to rotate their hip up. And what happens when you do that is sure, it's easier, but it takes all the work off of your core, which is what we're really aiming to do. From here, it's gonna be the knee tuck with the leg lower. Start here, knees are in. Straighten those legs up, come back down, and then we're gonna repeat just like so. And to make it a little bit easier, you can just bring your knees in and then bring them back out. And you can set them on the ground. So bring them in, bring them back out, and then rest those on the ground. Perfect. Excellent. And bring it in, straight up, lock those knees. Slow on the way down, perfect, slow and controlled. Really feel it in your lower abs all the way, all the way down. Perfect. And from here, we're going back to the dive bomber push-ups. So start with your hands right here. Scoop it down, push all the way up. Scoop it back, all the way back there. So scoop it up, great, and then scoop it back down. Excellent, scoop it up, and then scoop it back down. Get as low as you can. Try to keep your hands just outside your shoulders, so you shouldn't feel like your hands are a little bit forward here. And then scoop it back, scoop it back down. We're down to five seconds, ladies, keep it up. How are you feeling, Erin? Okay, it looks like, you definitely looks like you're working. Rachel, how are you doing? <laughs> One more round, don't worry. Okay, back to the crunches here, legs are straight up. Lock those knees, crunch it up and touch, crunch it up and touch, and I'm gonna see how close you two are getting. Excellent, can you touch, touch right here. Touch your toe, there we go, it's just, it's right there, you got it. Perfect, you got your toes. Try to grab the bottom of your toes right there. Grab on, grab right here, right here. Grab, nice. 10 seconds, keep it up, keep it up. See if you can get five more times, grab on. Okay, five seconds, four, three, two, one and relax. Great, one more time through. Back to, the, back to the X jumps, no rest at all. Crossing the front right here, right to it. Crossing the front right here, jump into it. So the key is here, shift your weight to the heels at the bottom so you're not coming up on your toes right there. Because we really want to focus on your glutes and your quads right here. If you shift your weight forward, it becomes all, it becomes mostly your quadriceps. You want to make sure your butt and your glutes are getting involved as well. All right, keep it up, jump as high as you can. It's so the last time, there's no holding back. I'm gonna add a little jump in there. You can add a, just one jump, one jump, one jump, one, one jump, Aaron. Just one, that's all you need. There we go, two, I knew I'd get one out of you. And from here, single leg arm and leg reach. Reach all the way forward, hips are square. Reach forward and come back. Perfect, keep those hips square for me. Excellent, great job kicking your leg nice and high, Rachel. Aaron, great job too. All the way up, perfect. Reach as high as you can. For this one, if you wanna make it more challenging, you can put a dumbbell in your hand or add an ankle weight and put that on your ankle to make it even more effective to work the front of your shoulder as well as your glute in the back, in addition to, of course, your core, which I had mentioned before. Okay, switch sides. All right, reach all the way forward, perfect. Keep those hips nice and square. Yeah, and even, you'd be amazed, even adding like a one, two, or three pound dumbbell and putting it in your hand is gonna make a big difference in how, the, in how the exercise feels for the front of your shoulder. And then we're gonna transition after we do 15 seconds on the right over to the left hand side. Nice and smooth, keep those hips square even when you kick all the way up. Perfect, three seconds, two, and switch sides. All right, reach with the right, excuse me, the left. And right leg, all the way forward, perfect, 15 seconds. So I remember adding even like a three pound dumbbell is gonna make a huge difference in how this exercise feels, especially on the front of your shoulder. Perfect, from here, we're going switching back to the abs. It's gonna be the knee tuck, leg, straight leg lower. So knees in, straighten it out, slowly lower it down, in, up, slowly lower it down. Perfect, keep that up, 30 seconds total. I'm gonna to stand up to watch the form of these two ladies here. Okay, Aaron's got it down. Good job locking your knees, nice and slow on the way down. Rachel's got it, let's see, slow on the way down, perfect. Try to get those feet even closer to the ground if you can. Get down to five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Last time with those dive bomber push-ups, have those hands right below your shoulders. Scoop it down, and a little bit forward, and scoop it back, back to starting position. Scoop it down, and then scoop it back, right there. Perfect, it's gonna be 30 seconds total. So it should feel like you're kind of going like in an arc like this forward. 
and then back. You're scooping down and forward, and then back. And you're gonna feel the tension on your shoulders, on your chest, on your triceps right here, the whole time you're doing the exercise. Down to five seconds, keep it up, last time. Dig deep, dig deep. Last dive bomber push up right here, and then bring it back, last one. Perfect, finishing up with the crunch right here. Legs are straight, black those knees, keep the energy up, last one. Try to touch your toes for every single exercise, every single repetition, make this count. The last one, Don't hold, there's no reason to hold back. This is the last 30 seconds for the workout for the whole day. Crunch, perfect, great job, Rachel, touching. Aaron, you got it, just barely, try to grab underneath, try to grab right there, you've got it. Perfect, we're down, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, abs tight, we're down to eight seconds. Seven, five, four, three, two, one, and... We're done, all right. Nice job, great job. <laughs> Well, that was our X-Zone workout. Be sure you subscribe to our channel, and of course, leave questions and comments below all our videos. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Jason Charchin, and we'll see you next time on X-Fit Daily. I thought the X-Zone was great because it focused a lot on the core, which, you know, helped you stabilize your whole inner self right here so you can elongate your limbs and everything, so I really felt it. I loved it. Again, this is another workout that I use my arms, my core, my legs. There's a little bit of cardio, so I love the mixture. Um, I think I really like the arm leg reach just because, you know, you're working with opposite sides of your body and pulling them together. So it's, you know, it was tricky on the mind, but, um, you know, in the end, it felt pretty good. I really enjoyed the uh, knee tuck lower leg because I really had to focus on my lower abs, and that is something that. I don't typically do when I do crunches or any ab workout, so that one was really hard and it made me control my legs and it was it really burned. I would have to say the dive bomber because I'm not a push-up type of person in the first place and the dive bomber definitely uh, killed me on that one. I thought the most difficult workout would be the X jump, which is why I chose to do the modified version. Um, but by doing the modified version, it'll help me build strength so I can add the jump in the future.